Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Luka Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory.
As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. That's a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuss. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. down to the stump. Start like a snack and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Wow, what a super-sized worm. That must be the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. You see, it's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is already offbeat. End it. Ooh, guessed it would go down with a throw up. Can it really get any better than that? He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed.
It's the porky puff nibbling bug. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of date's leg. Unleash the quacks. Ain't that cute? The two big playing with quacks. the boom ball and tow it beneath the puff. Opportunity slide. Thank <laughs> you. 
He thanks you for dealing with another world eater. You're halfway there. He's got word out of date spotted Looper Lupin and has a feeling your time has come. He hopes you're up for it. Even though you're good-hearted, you shouldn't miss this opportunity to confront the Predator. What? Just head back to the foot of the tree. Fingers crossed Looper Lupin will stay put until you're there. Tread carefully here. This is Looper Lupin's camp. Lupin says he's been looking for you at this moment. He wanted you to come here and see for yourself where it all started. He was so little when your mother and kin came here to put an end to his mother just because she was different. A hunter. That night, the hunter became the hunted, trapped with nowhere to run. He says your mother showed no mercy. Only vengeance. He can see that you're not like your mother. There's something different about you. Maybe you would have made a better decision than she did and let them be. They orphaned him, left him alone, an outcast and a freak. Looper Lupin says he's been reliving the moment every night since then. He says your mother and her disciples started something that couldn't be undone. They created the monster he would become. He knew his time would come and he was patient. So, when he got news about your birth, he knew how to get revenge that would last. That's why he spared you that night he raised the village when you were a child. He wanted you to suffer for life like he had. No. He marked you for life, so he'd recognize you when you met again, and you'd eventually remember where you came from. No. His hunger grew insatiable over the years to come. He tried, but being vegetarian wasn't in his nature and he couldn't go hungry. No. But he's never taken a life for the sake of appetite. It's always been about survival, and that our true self is being who we are. A deep look into nature will make you understand everything better, and that natural selection eliminates, and the strongest survive. Fate is for those too weak to determine their own destiny, and now the time has come for you to accept yours.
Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. You shouldn't challenge someone that has nothing left to lose. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Netra tribe this values liberty true. and is striving to protect freedom. They Most want to continue with each well, tribe being responsible for their dark. own and believe that uniting Rob, the tribes is the Rob, only way you can survive. Rob. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. He'll fight for whatever shred of hope he has left to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life. gets stale down here fast. The wire claw looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate, but you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull on the gate. The Ankati tribe believe that solidarity is what is needed to keep the world in balance. They're steadfast in their conviction to unite the tribes and move forward together as one. Anybody home? He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. He'll fight for whatever shred of hope he has left to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life.
stories only survive if someone is listening, so pay attention. The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Lotus tribe is seeking to build a perfect order, regardless of how many are hurt in the process. They want to subdue the tribes, as control is the only way they can guarantee peace. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. You shouldn't challenge someone that has nothing left to lose. Looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate. But you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull, and the gate will come down. The Pishu tribe supports natural evolution on the dogma that only the strong survive. They want to help evolution on its way by conquering the tribes, as they're all too weak in their convictions. Anybody home? He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. You shouldn't challenge someone that has nothing left to lose. Rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. They've achieved a great thing for the tribe and the land by winning the war. The other tribes will see your side of things with time. You'll succeed quickest by helping others succeed. This is why uniting the tribes is so important. It's only together that you'll stand strong. When you first met, the world was divided and filled with fear. But you've come a long way on your path towards a world ruled by truth and justice. He says it'll take some time for the tribes to come together as one, even if the tribe war has ended. Saving the Tree of Life will be a task you have to tackle on your own. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. Hello? The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The Tree of Life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so all the way to the end.
You never know how long anything's been buried underground. That sealed the fate of the third World Eater, 
just one more to go. Out of date asked to see you again to congratulate you and let you in on the final phases of his plan. This is your chance to get his priorities aligned with yours. Do right by your tribe and the world at large. Just head back to the Ark. He seemed eager to see you again. That was the last of them. You've sealed the fate of the tribe and the tree. It's time for the end game. You have your destiny. Follow it all the way back to out of date. He never told anyone about what's next, but he's sure it involves you. Just continue to stay true to yourself and respect others whatever happens. You've become their pride, the guiding light of the tribe.
It's time to return to the tree one last time. The Sifu is seeking revenge too. He hasn't forgotten what Lupa Lupin did, but he also wants to stop him from attacking his tribe. That the world seems to survive doesn't mean he must. He hopes you agree, even if it goes against your light-hearted nature. There's no room for predators in the world the Myriad tribe is building. But he knows this is your fight. You should handle it. Lupa Lupin's own fear was his shackles, not the roots of the tree. It just changed him. You have a chance to stand back and let the tribe handle it. spread when the world crumbles. This is not a prophecy, me telling you about the future. It's you shaping it. Here's a vulgar display. This is how it ends. The predator and the world itself suffering. But at least it's a sign they're both still alive. So, what we have here is a clear matter of life and death. And only you can make a difference. That was unexpected, but welcome. The big bad predator left for dead. I wouldn't have wanted to miss this for the world. I think the thing we're really missing here is someone with a heart and soul. The only thing we've got left are those who've lost their minds. Heart and soul, life and death are one thread. The same line viewed from different sides. It's just that my side is so much better. <laughs> well... Anyone in their right mind can see you're lost. But you're right about the thread. Unfortunately, it's been very dark and has run throughout. Taken friends, parents, and now... 
get another life? We all make choices, but in the end, our choices make us. There's no peace without forgiveness. It's no better time than now to accept a helping hand. Do you wonder what turn life might have taken if you'd done things different? A left when you went right? A yes when you said no? You've walked the thin line between survival and disaster and haven't lost your balance yet. It's because of you the tree of life and the world has been given a second chance. You carried the light in a world full of dark and made a difference in a place that needed change. You allied with the Myriad tribe and acted on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. However, light and dark does simply represent the polarities of life. One can't exist without the other. This isn't the end. Just being surrounded by nature as it heals itself will rejuvenate us. Nature will teach us how to survive. So, trust your conscience to show you the way, and everything else will follow. As foretold, you were destined to split the chains of this world. But you're not alone. You filled the Ark, and those that shared your perspective and gained your trust will accompany you on your journey. Is there a world out there that's better suited for those imbalanced in their light nature than this one? Whether or not, we'll leave your story on record, so those who come after will know you followed your light nature and saved the world. So, when all is said and done, it turned out to be an unusual ending after all. What could be better than ending the story the right way? Ending it your way, a beginning of something new.